Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. This is the CPU heatsink upgrade guide for 2012 and this will be covering low cost solutions. Basically, you know, just something to replace the stock heatsink, not really into overclocking or anything fancy like that, just something that's a little bit better than the factory heatsink. Now first of all I'll do is show you guys a little bit of uh, information and then I'll let you guys know the top heat sinks for the low cost solution that I recommend that I would personally use and that I would put on other client builds. So first off the benefits and disadvantages and this is pretty obvious lower temperatures equal longer component life a lot of people know that but if you don't well now you do and uh, the disadvantage here obviously is the larger cooling solution whether it be water cooling air cooling you know whatever you're running uh, that's larger than stock depending on what kind of case you have what motherboard memory video card everything it can have fitment and space conflicts issues and things fitting right the side panel whatnot how tall everything is so as always before spending any money you know look online make sure you see what the dimensions of everything are make sure it's going to fit your situation and then the general criteria of kind of what i looked at and what i look at in general is uh, obviously low cost to fit into this uh, situation here the video complete ready to run package meaning you buy this it has everything the brackets the fan uh, whether it be one fan or two uh, the heatsink itself thermal paste everything ready to go and then you can have your computer back up and running and then as well compatible with most AMD and Intel configurations and this is excluding in some cases FM1 and 2011 since they're not really as much mainstream as say like uh, you know 1366 still and uh, 1155, 1156, AM3, AM2 so uh, some of these are compatible with that but I'm just saying if you do have an FM1 or a 2011 make sure to check out the specifications of the heat sinks listed so now... okay so here's a list of some coolers that I would consider to be low cost or budget solutions to your stock heat sink on AMD and Intel and like I said these should fit just about any socket out there. As always, look these up and uh, check them out. You can find these coolers at Newegg, Tiger Direct, Amazon, eBay, you know, your local computer store. You can find them almost anywhere. So these are, uh, like I said, what I would call low cost uh, replacement options. They're great coolers. Most of them have heat pipes, 92, 100, or 120 millimeter fans. Um, you know really nice so just take a look at the list here I'm not going to go and uh, list all of them you know out because you can see them here but if you are interested you know you can check through and look up these online and these don't go so much in order of price they're kind of mixed up they're more uh, just kind of the way I looked them up most of the prices I did find were from Newegg and Amazon.com and there are a few that are a little bit higher up, uh, closer to the $35, $40 range, which is what some people would consider to be more mid-range. However, uh, you know, it all depends where you shop. You might be able to find them a little bit cheaper. Or if you want to go find a used one, possibly, uh, you'll always get it cheaper that way, too. It all depends on what you're looking for. But here's a list, guys, and uh, let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys all have a great day. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will talk to you all soon.